Hello and welcome back to the top 85 games for the BBC Micro video countdown series. In at number 8, it's Starship Command. This came out in 1983 from Acornsoft and it was developed by Peter Irvin. Now calling this game a arcade shooter would be doing it a grave disservice because it is a lot more than that. It's not simply about blasting the bad guys. You've got to manage your energy levels which power everything from your shields to your gun to your ability to even move. You've also got to beware of cloaked ships. Um, because you're fixed in the center of the screen, it's a lot more challenging than a typical arcade shooter because you've got to rotate and make sure that your gun is lined up with where the enemy is going to be. It's a bit like clay pigeon shooting in that regard. Um, so it's a very, very clever game, very innovative, and one that really puts you through your paces. And I'm going to be honest, um, I'm not very good at it, so there's probably going to be a fair amount of me blowing up uh, in this review. But bear with me, because I don't just want to look at the original from 1983. I'm also going to take a look at a re-release that came out in uh, 2022, so very recently. Uh, this is a reworking of the original game uh, by Toby Lobster, and uh, there's lots of details about it on the Starship Startup forums. But basically, it's a refined version of the original, so very much the same game, but a lot more polished, a lot faster... Uh, and a lot smoother to play. I'm not going to say I'm any better at that version, in fact probably arguably I'm worse because it is faster, but like I say we're going to look at both in this review and without further ado let's go back in time to 1983 and start off with the original Starship Command. Okay, let's start it up. Here we are, Starship Command. As the captain of a battle starship it is your duty to fight off invading enemy spaceships. Sounds simple enough, but, uh, well, as we'll see, quite a lot more to it than that. So, let's go through the instructions. Here we are, lovely Acorn Soft splash screen, as ever. Here we are. I love that, that spinning globe. It's lovely. That is a, it's a very simple design, but it really gets you in the mood for the game. So, um, here we are. This is a sort of function key powered menu here. So we'll just take a quick look at the controls, just for anyone that may not have played this one before, so you get a, a feel for what's involved. So as you can see here, you can obviously rotate left, right, um, fire your torpedoes. I think I was calling it a gun in the introduction, it's obviously uh, torpedoes. Uh, and then you've got thrust and brake. Um, now F and G are interesting controls there, that's how you launch your escape capsule, and that's very important because the game will essentially keep going uh, up until the point where you, you feel the need to jettison yourself. And you have to keep an eye on that, because uh, if you fail to jettison yourself at an appropriate point, uh, then you, you can't go on to the next mission. Um, you've also got your uh, alternating off-on scanners and shields there. You can have the auto changeover, but energy management becomes more challenging if you rely on that. And then you've also got your rotation and velocity dampers, uh, which we'll see in action in a moment. Uh, now I'm going to make things slightly easier for myself, um, first of all, by turning on uh, my large uh, torpedoes, uh, which I will do with uh, that command there, um, and then I'm going to obviously uh, leave the uh, the enemy's torpedoes on small, which is the default. Okay, so here we are, and I'm going to turn my dampers on so that I don't sort of end up powering through space too much, because it's a lot easier to control that way. And you can see, uh, it looks a bit sort of granny driving here but uh, it does make things a lot simpler to control once you get the cape. So here's my first bad guy nabbed there. So you can see my energy on the right hand side. Obviously my I'm on I'm on bank one. Now if I stay still uh, my energy will recharge and indeed if I turn my shields off it'll recharge up significantly faster. But since I'm under attack at the moment I'm not gonna do that. Um, so if I can feel safe enough to turn them off I will turn them off but uh, Yes, not at the moment, otherwise I'll be ooh, I'll be toast. Right, let's get out of their way. Oh no! So you can take enemies out by having them collide with you, um, but obviously it takes off quite a oh, quite a big chunk of energy when you do that. I'm doing too well here for my uh, first attempt. Ooh, no. Let's try and get out of here. It would help if they weren't all behind me. Come on, let's get that one. There we go. So, uh, yes, it's... I mean, you can see already, I mean, I'm not very far into this first mission, and uh, I'm already down to my fourth bank of energy, which is not a good sign. So if I quickly turn my shields off for a bit... No, that wasn't a good idea. 
I'm not in a safe enough position to do that. Oh dear. Well, that's the warning sound, which is not good, so I'm going to launch an escape pod, and uh, you will see um, I'll explode now. Uh, after you've launched your escape pod, you um, you can't carry on controlling your, your ship, obviously, because you've, you've left. Now, with a score of 28, uh, Starfleet are obviously furious, uh, so I won't be going on to uh, the next mission after that. Uh, they're going to retire me from active service. So, um, I'm surprised I've even made it into the Starfleet records, to be perfectly honest, but there you go. It's an amazing score of 28. So, uh, yes, it remembers your settings from uh, from the previous time, so I don't need to reset any of that. Um, we're going to turn, turn those dampers on there. And uh, let's see if we can do a little bit better this time. It would be good if I could keep them in front of me, or at least most of them in front of me, because it's uh, yeah, it's very difficult when they're all behind you, shooting you at the back. Because you, uh, once they're that close, it's quite hard to move out of their way. Right. Come on, you. Let's get that. No, 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 no. Oh, no, they're all behind me again. Uh, it's very frustrating. Right, okay, there we go. Come on, let's take this one. And there we go. So you can see the size of their torpedoes versus mine. I obviously have a distinct advantage there. Oh no, crashing into my... Oh, come on, come on, let's get that one. Let's get that one. There we go. Right, do need to at least get a better score than uh, the last one. Oh, there we go. So you get, you do get points for destroying them when they crash into you, um, but not as many, obviously, as if you uh, actually take them out properly with your torpedoes. What the? Why is he just hovering like that? That's... Ah. They will actually shoot themselves as well, which is quite entertaining. They don't seem to collide with each other, but uh, they do. They, if you, if you, they can take each other out. Right, come on, let's get that. One. Okay. Well, managed to get a slightly better score than the last time. But uh, an interesting thing about Starship Command is that it doesn't actually have a fixed um, score that you need to get in order to progress to the next mission. Uh, it's, it's, it sort of slightly varies, so there are times where I've played it where a score of 52 is, is enough, you know. Um, I don't think a score... oh dear. Let's see if I can charge that energy up a bit. Oh no. Oh dear, I didn't even manage to jettison an escape pod that time. Not a slightly better score, not, not much better, but uh, slightly better. Yes, well, there you go. Um, right, well, let's let's keep on going because uh, it would be good to at least demonstrate the, um, the, you know, a second mission. I mean, I have made it to the second mission in the past. As I was saying, you, you, a score of 52 is sometimes enough. Um, not always, but some, sometimes it is. Oh, goodness. Right. Oh, look at him flying straight into me. Oh, dear, oh, dear. See, you take a couple of those direct hits, and uh, it's very difficult to recover from that. Oh, no, not this guy. Ugh. I don't know if we haven't seen any of the cloaked ships. Yeah! Yet. Um, they do make an appearance. Um, Let's turn that off for a second. Oh no! That was, that was a mistake. Right, come on, off with the shield. Let's get a bit of energy recharged. Oh! Come on. Come on. You see, the energy definitely recharges more quickly when you haven't got the shields on, but of course, you're then <laughs> at a distinct advantage, a disadvantage because of the, uh, the fact that you're then going to get shot quite easily. Right, come on. Let's get that one. Oh look, he's gone. There he was. That was a cloaked one. He disappeared. Oh, there he is. He's reappeared again. You can shoot them when they're cloaked, uh, but uh, obviously it's harder to see them. Ooh, right now we've got a score of 42. Come on. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't keep shooting me. No. Oh. Well, look. <laughs> I managed to get a score of 52 just as I exploded. Yes, that's uh, that's not going to make it. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, well, let's uh, persevere. As I say, we will get there eventually. 
after what I said at the introduction, it's probably going to turn out that I'm, I'll end up being better on the 2022 version. Um, I have probably, at least in recent years, well, recent months I should say, I've definitely played more of the uh, the, the newer version because it is a it's, it's definitely a, a more sort of smooth game to play. Oh my goodness me, look at them coming in like that. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it's no excuse. I mean, I for a game that I do enjoy playing, you would think by now I would have got a little bit better at it. But oh dear, I am not uh, really not. I mean, it is it is hard. I I, I I think I think people would agree that you know even those that love it like me, would, would agree that it isn't an easy game by any means. Um, I don't know how much of it comes across in the video, because if you haven't played it, then you, you might be struggling to understand why... Oh, there you go, look, they blew themselves up. Why I am having such a hard time with it. Um, well, you might just be thinking, well, I can play it a lot better. But, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I would definitely, definitely appreciate any feedback uh, that anyone has. I, I'm more than happy to take uh, constructive criticism because I'm sure I'm doing things that others would uh, say you shouldn't do in this game. I did read a bit of advice actually uh, a few months back on the Stardot forums about how to play the game and, and definitely the, the use of the dampers I, I was given to believe was, was helpful because it gives you a bit more control over your craft. Right, let's turn the shields off and see if we can charge up a bit. Please don't shoot at me with my shields off. Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> I need a safe space to recharge. Of course, the more I thrust away from them, the more energy I end up using. Uh. Come on, let's take that one out. Oh no. Oh dear, oh dear. Incidentally, if you're not careful with your use of the uh, skate pod, the part of the reason why you have the choice of a left and right port and starboard um, escape pod is because it, it can collide with enemies on its way out. And uh, obviously, if it does that, then uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna just leave leave the dampers off, off. Yeah, off this time and see whether that makes any difference. I don't think I think it actually makes it worse, but, <laughs> but we'll. We'll, we'll, we'll play along with that. Yes, uh, yes. as I was saying, if, you, if your escape pod collides with um, a ship, I think it actually gives you a few extra points, because you do get points for taking the ship out with your escape pod, but um, obviously that does mean that no, no, no further progression for you. At least I think it does. I don't, I don't think if you launch an escape pod and it collides with something that you can expect to continue. Look at him going over there, firing all those full stops. Outrageous. Oh, ah! oh no, no, don't oh, crash into me. Oh, goodness me. Yeah, I, as I say, I think this is the part of the game I find the most difficult. Is When, when they come in like that behind you, I mean, in theory, if I spin around, I ought to... Oh, no, 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 they're all going in like that. <laughs> yeah, I ought to be able to get them, but I... Oh, no. But they all just... Pile in. Right, shields off. Come on, let's have a recharge. At least get onto bank two. That would be helpful. Come on, charge up to bank two at least. Otherwise, there's uh, precious little hope in me continuing. There we go. Oh no! no, no. Oh no! Look at that. All that recharge and <laughs> he smashed into me with my shields off. Oh dear. Well, this is not going very well at all, is it? Well, I'm going to keep uh, persevering with the original for maybe a, one or two more goes before we have a look at the um, the reboot. Who knows? As I say, I might. Uh, I don't think having the dampers off was. Uh, oh, sorry, on, off. I always get them mixed up. Anyway, whatever it is that stops you from accelerating after you let go of the thrust. Um, I do think it is easier when you can at least stay still because then it gives you the chance to obviously move away uh, when they are on top of you. But yes, as I was saying before, the thing I find the hardest is when they get in behind you I don't actually understand exactly what it is that you're supposed to do to kind of get around that because they just seem to hover there and even when I move left and right they just, they just stay in. Oh dear. 
quite sure if I shot shot that one or it just collided with me. Oh dear, there goes another one. Down to energy bank three again. So, I will apologise, but I mean at least I got my uh, at least I got my excuses in early in the introduction before we even got into the game that uh, not for you not to expect too much in the way of heroic gameplay here because yeah it's really uh, right come on no 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 come on come on I'm at least come in the line of fire yeah, look, I'm on energy bank four down there come on let's get some energy back. Dear, 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 dear. Oh no, no, look at them all clustering in. Oh. Ugh, 46. Dear, dear, dear. I feel like I should at least manage to get to the second mission on the original game, otherwise it's pr pretty embarrassing. Well, I mean, it's already embarrassing, let's be fair. Right, let's get, the, uh, get those off. On. But uh, yes, I, I don't know exactly how much the game was or wasn't inspired by Star Trek. I mean, I, <laughs> looking at the uh, the spacecraft, indeed, if we get to the second mission, which I really hope I will do, uh, the spacecraft on that mission really does uh, look very Star Trek. But, um, yeah. and, I mean, even the enemies, they do, they do look rather Klingon bird of prey, for those of you familiar with the uh, Star Trek universe. Yes, uh, how much of that was deliberate? I mean, the, they even refer to it as Starfleet Command, let's face it. Uh, I, think, I think it is a no. I think it is a knowing, knowing nod. The uh, Gene Roddenberry universe. Oh, look, come on, look, 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 look. How am I supposed? How am I supposed to deal with that? They're all behind. Well, apart from this guy who's now going to crash into. Oh. No, stop crashing! <laughs> but seriously, I think the most points I get in this game are for ships smashing into me. It's like, oh dear, look, look, see, because I've got such little energy. Look, I can, this is as much as I can fire. Oh, well, I mean, look, my energy is on the cusp there. Might as well jettison for that point. Right. Well. That's about 15 minutes in, and I really haven't made much of a dent into the uh, the original. So I think what I'm going to do here is uh, start up the 2022 edition, and you know maybe fingers crossed I I get on a little bit better with that one. But uh, well, let's see. And here we go, the 2022 edition by Toby Lobster. So you can already tell. I mean that globe is doing quite a fast spin there, so you can sort of see how. Uh, much slicker this version of the game is. Right, okay, let's put the, uh, is it the, I want the, boom, hang on, I always get those brackets mixed up, so I want the large torpedoes for myself. There we go. All right, here we go. Um, wow, so can you, <laughs> you can already see this is fast, much faster than the uh, the original. Uh, oh, actually, I'll put those on, let's put, let's put the old dampers on there. Whoop. Whoa, look at the <laughs> look at the speed of the torpedoes. Amazing stuff. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, this could just be oh, <laughs> This could just be death uh, much more quickly, but uh, it's, it's great fun though. Yes, I remember why I I like now, ever since uh, Toby Lobster released this version. It, uh, this is the version I I go to when I want to play a game of uh, Starship Command because it is whoa. It's frenetic. Oh. Come on. There we go. Already an improvement here. Come on. Let's get away from these bad guys. Yeah, yeah, go away, you. Come on, if I can just take out at least one more. There you go. I think I had a score of 56 at the end there. Maybe that's going to be enough. Oh, look at this! There we go! After your performance on this command, Starfleet authorities are said to be disappointed, but they allow you the command of another starship. Fantastic. There you go, 56 was enough. So, onwards we move. There you go, look, I mean, look at that. That that. <laughs> there's really no, uh, no hiding the fact that that is the USS Enterprise, really, is there? And, uh, all, all fairness, it was 
well, I mean, this is the 2022 edition, but the original game from which this is taken, it was 1983, and, uh, you know, copyright wasn't what it, what it has become since... Oh, my goodness me. Oh, well, yeah, they're a bit, uh, they're a bit keen. Let them go. Uh, okay. Steady does it. Now, it's a cumulative score, so it looks like I've already got 58, whatever it is down there, but um, that's, that's obviously not the case, because uh, it's just carried over the 56 from the last mission. I'm not really making much of a dent into this mission yet. Oh, come on, I just need to get a little bit closer. Now, obviously, the missions get steadily more difficult, so the fact that I find the first mission that much of a challenge does mean that... Uh, ooh, let's say. It does mean that I'm probably not going to get much more of a score on this one, but uh, at least we got there. That's the main thing. Uh... Yeah, so I've managed to get an extra ten points so far. Don't think I'll be uh, taking out, taking on uh, mission. Oh dear, there we go. Just collision. Didn't even manage to get an escape capsule out in time. Yes. Uh, well, after reviewing your short career, <laughs> they award you the Order of the Badger. Well, I'll take that. I, uh, I don't mind Order of the Badger. It's a fine animal. Happy to be in its company. All right. So, yes, uh, already I hopefully you all have appreciated quite how much faster and whizzier this version is. Um, all credit to Toby Lobster. Also, a shout out to Zero X Code. I should I should mention as well because he um, put together an Electron uh, version of this reboot. So if you're if you're an Electron fan and you want to play this version of Starship Command on the Electron, um, then uh, yes, so Zero X Code put that one together. So uh, all credit to him for that. Goodness. Oh. But uh, yes, Toby Lobster, amazing stuff. Uh, this is quite the feat. It's uh, it's you know it's it's quite it's quite a it's quite a special thing really to take a, you know what is already a well loved game and uh, give it this kind of you know re reboot I suppose is the right expression isn't it? It's still the original game, but uh, yeah, it's just got that sort of extra polish to it. And I mean, let's face it, no, uh, no disrespect at all to, to Peter Evan in the original game, because to put something together like this in, in 1983, which bear in mind, you know, the Beeb had only really been out for, well, I say two years. I mean, it came out in December 81, so I mean, strictly speaking, it's a little over a year um, before this game was put together. And uh, yeah, it's, well, it's fantastic um, for... for, for you know, for what it is when it came out. There really wasn't anything quite like it. Um, I, mean, I mean, actually, it remains, you know, certainly, with the, certainly within Beeb games, it does remain a very uh, a very original game. It's not something that's really been... Sort of had a spin from other uh, you know, similar titles, as far as I'm aware. Um, certainly none of the sort of big publishers ever really put together a similar game. I dare say there might have been a few... Bedroom home home brews. Oh, oh dear, that's a shame. I was on fifty one there, so I could have. Uh... Yeah, there you go. Order of the badger again. If I had managed to get an escape pod out, I might just have managed to crawl into the second mission. But uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll keep things keep things going for the time being. Because I am. Oh, I'm having a great time. I, uh, I, for those of you who have kept with me and are still watching, I hope that this has been, uh, you know, moderately entertaining. As I say, I, I, uh, I know that uh, there are far better players of this game than me, and uh, you're probably uh, well within your rights to have stopped watching by now. Thinking, goodness me, how many more times do I need to see this guy die on the first level? But then again, if you are a follower of my channel, you will know that uh, I am not the world's greatest uh, gamer when it comes to even the games that I do love. I mean, this one I've brought in at number eight. So it gives you an idea of how, how much I like it. But uh, yeah, oh dear, look at this. Yeah, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to be surviving this one. Um, but yes... Uh, I would say that my love for games is not always commensurate with my ability at them. In fact, more often than not, it's <laughs> direct, uh, direct opposite. But uh, there you go. 
Um, practice makes perfect, but then again, I, I have played this game an awful lot, and I'm still not very much better at it. So uh, I know that the uh, the high the high score uh, competition on the uh, startup forums they say, you know, one of the good things about it is that it gets you to concentrate on on one game for you know a prolonged period, and, and as as a consequence you get better at it, but um, I don't think I'll be submitting myself for any uh, competitions on Starship Command. Uh, yes. Love of a game will, will only take you so far. Well, sadly, uh, you do need a bit of skill too, and I am sorely lacking in that department. But, uh, yeah, I mean, in terms of the sort of dynamics of the game, I mean, I'm not probably showcasing uh, particularly well the fact that you are obviously meant to manage those energy banks carefully. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit too much of a nervous player to turn my shields off too often because I worry that I'll just end up getting blasted if I do that. But there you go. Um, one thing to note is that your manoeuvring and firing and thrust and break and so on, you can you can press all of those commands at once. Uh, so you can spin around and, and thrust and shoot and everything all, 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 with all those keys depressed. But um, you can't turn your shields on and off mid uh, maneuver or, or indeed mid fire so if you've got your torpedoes on uh, or firing you cannot uh, just do a a quick oh, shield on off you have to take your fingers off all of the controls and just press shield off or, or shield on which is another reason why it is difficult to um, sort of put them on and off because you really do have to just let go of everything uh, and uh, yeah select the on or off option Oh my goodness me. Well, these ones aren't very friendly. Firing out clusters here. There you go. I'm not sure if I get any points for when they blow themselves up. I haven't actually paid... Oh, I think I do. Yes, I, my score definitely went up then. Oh, hello. Right, I think I might... If I can just take out one more ship, I think I should have enough to get through to the second level at this stage. Or well, second mission, I should say. That's if I... Oh, come on. There we go. Right, I'm going <laughs> to quit while I'm ahead there, I think. Just so that we get at least a little bit more of a... Uh, oh, hello. Oh, no! They've decided to retrain me as a gardener. Oh, well, that, see what I mean. I that This is actually a higher score than I had previously to take me through to the second mission. And it wasn't enough. So, uh, yes, I, well, I feel vindicated on what I was saying before, at least. Um... All right. Well, we'll probably give this at least one more, one more go uh, before I uh, draw the review to a close. Because I mean, apart from anything else, I I'm having a good time, and uh, when that happens, I, I, these reviews often tend to take a little bit longer than uh, they otherwise might. But uh, yeah, well, uh... some people in the comments have said that you know they they part of part of my you know core apparently poor gaming skill is down to the fact that I'm trying to do the commentary at the same time. And I am grateful for anyone who thinks that, um, because, uh, well, it's nice to have an excuse, but I'm afraid with Starship Command, um, doing doing the commentary is not really the reason why I'm as woeful at it as I am. Uh, I'm afraid it's just pure bad, bad gameplay on my part. Oh, go away, stop. I will say with this with this version of it, it does feel easier to to um, evade evade. Oh dear! To I was going to say to evade the um, the pursuers, but uh, that didn't really work there. All right. Well, with this glorious top five scores, twenty one to sixty eight, what a range! Okay, we are going to uh, maybe this will be the last. Go unless I die very quickly, in which case I might try again. But if not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if we can return to the glory heights of 60 odd, 62 or whatever it was. Although that wasn't enough last time. See, that's a bit that's a bit frustrating. You can you can basically almost have taken them completely out, and then at the last minute they crash into you. That's it. You only get the points for them crashing into you. There's quite a field of them here. Come on. Right. If we can get all of these ones. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, on, let's get, get that one. Ooh. For once, I'm the pursuer. That doesn't happen very often. Come on. What? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> I, I, 
I took my eyes off the energy and then, oh dear, got too carried away with pursuing that uh, one in front of me without realising there was one behind me. Uh, dear, oh dear. All right, well, I know I said that was going to be the last go, but I mean, I did die very quickly, so... Uh, bit of a shame. It was a blaze of glory, though. I mean, I took out a lot of enemies in one, in one sort of... one spin there, but unfortunately, they took me out. Yeah, feel sorry for anyone inside my spaceship. We'll be getting right motion sickness from my uh, my controls here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Then coming in from left and right. Oh no. Oh dear. Right, shields. Hang on. Oh no. I was going to say shields off. Yeah, shields off. Because there's not too many of them around. Oh no. <sighs> this is fun. Just on a little journey here. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, well, we could do without you. Ah! I'm probably not making very good use of the scanners on the right. You'll probably notice that there is a large and small scanner. When you've got your shields on, your, your long-range scanner um, turns off, as you can see there. Um, but your short-range is obviously still available. Oh dear. Well, I'm going to jettison, but I don't think with a score of whatever that is, 30-odd, I don't think I'll be getting any uh, promotions there. Hmm. They demote you to worker grade. Oh, well, that's rather good, isn't it? Okay, well, I think we are going to call it a day there because uh, there's only so much you can uh, watch or endure of me uh, blowing up. But that was uh, Starship Command, both versions, the 1983 original and the 2022 uh, reboot from Toby Lobster. I think that, well, whichever version of the game, whether whether you take the original or the, or the new version of it, it's a fantastic game. Um, the fact that I can't play it very well is nothing to do with the game itself. It's magnificent. I know it's got lots of fans, so I don't think anyone's going to be surprised to see it coming into the rankings uh, in at number eight. But uh, yes, um, as always, I strongly encourage uh, comments. Please let me know well, both what you think of the review, but also uh, if you've got any tips for me about how I might be able to improve at uh, Starship Command. I'd love to hear from you. And uh, if you've never played the reboot, do go and seek that one out. I'll put a link for it in the uh, video below so you can go and find it. Uh, it's available on the Complete Games Archive and there's also the uh, star.forum thread that uh, Toby put up which explains all the details about the reboot and all the various features that he added to it. So uh, that's it for this review. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you'll join me for the next one in the series. But until then, goodbye.